horrific news from the Boston Marathon. Officials say two explosions shattered the premier sporting event. At least two victims are dead and the Globe and Mail is reporting 100 injured. More than 26,000 runners participate in the annual marathon, including thousands of Canadians. Joy Balvin reports. Just as runners were making it to the finish line, a loud boom, a massive explosion at the heart of the Boston Marathon. And within seconds, another explosion and more smoke. Large plumes of dust, smoke, glass. Obviously, everybody was going crazy. Um, at first, it almost sounded like a cannon blast, but it felt so strong, it literally almost blew my hat off. It was chaos at the finish, people running for cover, dozens injured, many seriously. Victims carried to a nearby medical tent, others loaded onto stretchers and taken to nearby hospitals. From the air, the scene looked like a war zone. I saw quite a few casualties coming back. I saw one guy with his legs gone at the knees, some ankles and feet missing, shrapnel wounds on people on the sides of the head, and other things. It's just uh, we're not good. City streets had been packed with friends, families, and tens of thousands of participants. Many ran to their loved ones. This man's father was hurt. He was conscious, but he was going in, in and out, you know, and he, he, he was really white, you know. And, you know. It's just unbelievable this would happen at an event like this. Police confirmed there were a pair of bombs and now a third explosion. There was a, an explosion that occurred at the uh, JFK library. So this is very much an ongoing event at this point in time. Uh, we are not certain that these incidents are related, but we are treating them as if they are. Police are combing the area, detonating anything that looks suspicious, closing down streets and asking people to stay inside and away from crowds. Uh, well, we've had a uh, horrific uh, attack here in, uh, in Boston this afternoon, mindful that we don't have the whole picture yet. Security is tight not only in Boston, but here in Washington, D.C., the city on a state of heightened alert until they learn more about the Boston bombings and who is behind it. Joy Melvin, CTV News, Washington. There are 158 Albertans who ran in today's race, including three people from Lethbridge and at least one from the Crow's Nest Pass area. Ryan Endersby, Robert Turner and Karen Koenig were all registered run today. They were from Lethbridge, all completed the race. No word yet on the two men from our city. 55-year-old Alan Robinson from Coleman also ran. He has been confirmed safe and sound. Sean Pinder knows all three Lethbridge runners. He's the owner of Runner's Soul and organizes several outdoor runs each year, including the Moonlight Run. Koenig is his wife's aunt, and she talked to family a couple of hours ago. I mean, she's talked to her mom, and, and I'm sure we'll be, we'll be trying to track people down and hoping everybody's okay. But I know there was a couple of people uh, uh, from Lethbridge finished around that uh, three... 3.30 to 3.45 mark, so definitely they're going to be in the vicinity when the, when the explosions went off, so I'm hoping everybody's okay, and yeah, it's unfortunate for, like, obviously I wish that it didn't happen at all and nobody was injured. Many Canadians in Boston experienced the terror surrounding today's bombings, including former Lethbridge Hurricane goalie Ty Rimmer. He was leaving Fenway Park after a game between the Boston Red Sox and Tampa Bay Rays when he heard the blast. He currently plays pro with the Manchester Monarchs of the American Hockey League. He says the mood in Boston went from happy to chaos quickly. We were at Fenway. I was at the Red Sox game. And uh, we were just hanging out. And then people, people started going crazy. We heard the explosion. And then there's helicopters and people everywhere. It was like a, it's a Boston holiday today and everybody was, was so happy and in such a good mood and then just in an instant like it all it all changed.